Now, join us now to take a look at this development. As security expert Bala Abdullahi he joins us live from Katsina State in Nigeria. Uh, good evening to you, Bala. Uh, how are you? Very well, thank you. Now, Bala, Nigeria's federal government has confirmed that it purchased vehicles worth 1.4 billion naira. Just heard from the finance minister to help Niger Republic tackle its problem of insecurity. What are your thoughts on this? Well, uh, uh, it's normal to every government to see to it that uh, whatever is the best interest of its administration to assist uh, its neighboring states. And uh, this is not the first time when Nigerian government uh, is assisting the, the neighboring states. Uh, some previous governments in Nigeria uh, have been doing that right from 1960. Uh, to present day. There was no government that uh, came and go without uh, uh, justifying reason of its assistance to its neighboring state. But uh, however, uh, this also uh, has come, uh, come to a situation when there were a lot of agitation, there were a lot of uh, inconsistencies, there were a lot of uh, issues in Nigerian uh, security architecture. Uh, uh, believe you me, what they did is to their uh, interests uh, and, and to the advantage of the Nigerian uh, government. But uh, however, if you look at the quantum amount of money being injected into the Nigerian security sector, one may, 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 may stand to ask questions. What is the justification of such money being injected into the security architecture in the country. Was there no aid, uh, audit? What is the assessment? How do you evaluate? How do you ascertain whether such money being given to them has uh, really been utilized as, uh, as the way the money was meant for? But mm. the question is, we had issues in Nigeria more than the issue being addressed to address the issue of uh, Nigerian Republic. But the question also one may likely also to address is we have a, a junk nature of insecurity. We have junk nature of uh, uh, insincerity of the political part, uh, party office holders. We have junk of uh, agitations by different ethnic groups, different so, so you, tribal so, uh, and different sections. Permit me to um, button here, Bala. So do you think the timing is what might be the problem with this donation? Because we're dealing with our own insecurity uh, issues in Nigeria and also the, the, the questions and accountability. Uh, there are some analysts that say, you know, we're dealing with so many things at this time and uh, the government uh, seems not to be sensitive to the plight of Nigerians by making these donations at such a time where we're dealing with a myriad of security problems in Nigeria. Do you see a problem with it, with, with the timing? No. Diplomatically, what Nigerian government did is the right thing in the right direction. However, we have a joint tax force, a joint security tax force, that are saddled with the responsibility of addressing this issue of uh, insecurity. And Niger Nigeria is bordering with uh, four to five, uh, three to four uh, African states. So if Nigerian government is also supporting other Nigerian uh, government, there should also be a provision to see to it if they really meant what they are saying, to see to it also to address and assist other neighboring states but diplomatically what they did is to the best interest of the nation okay and certainly to some certain level to the best interest of their own selfish interests now but i'm happy you mentioned that uh, nigeria because of its diplomatic relations uh, with its neighbors that are also dealing with insecurity issues do have to collaborate and we do know about the multinational joint task force uh, which has been in the battle against Boko Haram insurgents in the northeastern part of Nigeria. But that doesn't seem to be enough. We've cooperated with uh, neighbors. Is it time uh, we asked for international help?
in some uh, type of way because this security challenge is uh, getting out of challenge, uh, uh, getting out of hand. Just a few weeks ago, we did see the storming of Kuje uh, Prison in Abuja. It was something that you would never think will happen. So uh, the security situation seems to be getting out of hand. Should, should we ask for help from the international community, in your own opinion? What's your, what are your thoughts? Yes, it's long overdue, but however, the implication Nigerian government uh, will uh, likely to face is that they should choose whom to seek assistance from in terms of the security What, what, what type of assistance uh, do you think we, we should ask for? Everson, in terms of the training, in terms of weaponry, in terms of the uh, other arsenals. But believe you me, there is uh, much to do in the selection. Nigerian government should know because we have hired machineries in the country. We have hired machineries around neighboring states, neighboring nations. So Nigerian government should be careful in selecting those countries they are looking their assistance from. Otherwise, you are inviting your enemy to come inside and do whatever he feels like doing with your economy, with your people, with your security, with everything. And also that will also uh, make the whole instant, the whole uh, effort uh, in vain. Okay, thank you very much for your time and contribution, uh, Bala Abdullahi. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome.